Hey guys, do you know these situations and these little things which drive you crazy in everyday life? Like the fact that I have no headphone stand for example. There are hundreds of these little things which grind my nerves and which drive me crazy. And as you might know, it's Black Friday, a perfect time to start with 3D printing. So let's find some solutions for the most annoying things in everyday life. And the first thing is the solution for my headphone problem. I don't know where to place them. And here's the first solution for one of the annoying things in everyday life, a headphone stand for the left side of my monitor because I'm a lefty and the only thing left to do is 3D print it. Sasha is also at the studio and likes 3D printing because the printer is not that noisy. I'm printing on the Creality K1C. The print is done. Now I can mount the parts. I have to stick some sticky tape on the back and I can mount my new printed headphone stand on the monitor. And boom, first problem solved. Yeah, cool. First problem solved, but I guess that's a problem every one of us knows. You want to eat a sandwich, but you want to watch also your favorite YouTubers, favorite TikTokers, but it doesn't matter what you do with the phone. It flips every time and what you need is a phone stand. But guess what? There are hundreds of people with exactly this problem, so you can download the super cool phone stand and print it on the printer. Let's do it. Yeah, check this out. I downloaded the file on Thingiverse and 13 minutes later I have a phone stand in the size of a credit card. Yeah, looks a bit flat, but let's unfold it. And I printed on the Creality Ender 3v3. It's an entry level bat slinger, but super precise. These hinges are printed in place. That means you print only one file. And when it's done, you can unfold it. Super precise, super cool. Don't forget the Free Black Friday sale. Check out the Ender 3v3. I highly recommend it because for entry level printer, perfect. But maybe you ask yourself, what should I do with a 3D printer? I have absolutely no knowledge in 3D construction. Absolutely no problem, because there are websites where you can download super cool models like the phone stand. I'm using Thingiverse. Just check it out, thingiverse.com. Or if you buy a Creality printer, it comes with Creality Print and an own model library. Just click on the model library in Creality Print and find also super cool models which are created by users. And yeah, that's what I can recommend. Just start 3D printing. Now it's the best time. Black Friday sale. Just check the video description for a special offer. And now we come to my next problem. That's also something which drives me nuts. Every time I open the door to my balcony, I have a huge problem because the paper of my photo studio collides with the door and the door ruins the back paper. But there's a solution for 3D printing, of course. I printed some of these clamps with the Creality K1C and I can mount these clamps on the paper when I don't use it. Super simple, super fast, super easy. Problem is solved. Now I can open the door without ruining the back paper of my photo studio. And the by far most annoying thing in my life is this piece of shit of a paint gun stand. There are two major issues which disqualify this piece of shit as a useful tool. The first one is it's not made for these mini guns. The lower ring is too big so the spray gun won't sit flush in the spray gun stand. And the second thing which drives me absolutely nuts is the upper ring. Check out all these paint drips on the ring and guess how these happen. When I place the sieve in the ring, the sieve is too small and the color will leak uh, between the ring and the sieve itself and it will drop beside the spray gun on my shelf and will not drop in the spray gun itself and that drives me nuts because I have to use this spray gun stand every day and I have to fiddle around. So that's an issue I have to find the solution for with 3D printing. And if you are hooked now and want to buy a 3D printer but don't know which printer to buy, let me give you some facts which are important for newbies. And the most asked question is, should you buy a big or small printer? And as I were a newbie, I wanted the biggest printer on the planet, but that's not the way you should go. Now I highly recommend to go with a small printer and I printed even my paint stand on the smallest printer I have, the Ender 3v3. And as you can see, the printer has not enough height to print the paint stand 
in place, but an elegant way of construction is to slice your models into parts. I used five parts for the paint stand, two for the stand itself, one for the base, two for the rings. That avoids a lot of support if you don't print in place. Support is wasted material. You have to dump it after the print process and yeah. I like to avoid any support if possible. Sometimes it's not possible, like on the rings, but if you can, avoid supports. Use screw or click in place connections like I did on the base and the rings. I screwed the rings and clicked the base in place. That's the much more elegant way. And if you do so, you can use, of course, also these smaller printers and they heat up fast because the print bed is much smaller and much easier to heat. The Ender 3v3 comes with a 220 by 220 millimeter print bed, also the Creality K1C and the most obvious difference is the housing of the printer. The K1C comes with a housing, that's a Core XY, that means the print bed goes up and down, that's a bed slinger. And that means the print bed goes back and forth. And in my uh, opinion, there's not so much of a difference if you buy a bed slinger or a Core XY. But it's a huge difference if you have a printer with a housing or without a housing. So you have to decide which material you like to print. If you print easy materials like PLA or PETG, you can use a bed slinger without a housing. That saves a lot of money. And all the stuff you can see here are printed in this video is printed with PETG because that's my favorite material. It's super flexible but also super strong so it won't break. And all my functional parts I produce are printed with PETG. But if you like to go with ABS or nylon, you need an enclosure because you need more heat. And in this case, you have to buy a printer with an enclosure because you can heat the print bed and you can heat the enclosure itself. And that avoids warping of the material. So decide what you like to print. If you want to go with ABS, nylon, carbon on something like that, you have to use an enclosure. If you like to print easy materials like PLA or PETG, go with a bed slinger because that saves money. Yeah, the paint stand drama is over, but hold my beer, I'm not done yet. Personally, I have a huge lack of motivation when it comes to road cycling because you can't see the reward and you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel. The only thing you see is miles and miles in front of you, what you feel are burning legs. And to bring back the motivation in cycling, I invented a very special bottle cage, the double bottle cage made for beer bottles. And that should bring back the reward into your field of view when cycling. So put in the bottles and what you see during cycling is your reward at the end of the road. Thank you for watching. I'm motivated to do some road cycling again. See you in the next one. Goodbye.